Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Y'all are in for a treat today because this is going to be a spicy video. I am going to be doing some confessions and also kind of in the form of a Q&A because you guys sent me questions on Instagram using that nice little question feature and we're gonna do, do the thing. <coughs> yeah. Y'all had really great questions and in some of them I'm going to be addressing topics that I've never talked about before online so it's gonna be a dang good time. Also, if you would like to participate in more of these videos in the future, make sure to go give me a follow over on Instagram. It's at Elise Eklund. Also, feel free to shoot me a DM. I love talking to you guys. Pinky out. Fancy living. Here we come. First of all, you see this little stinker on my face? I had a zit and I picked at it so it turned into a scab. And this is my first confession. I'm really kind of insecure about this right now. Shrek or Spongebob. Don't put two kings up against each other. YouTubers that you want to collab with. Jojo Siwa. Dab or your Minecraft account gets banned. Confession time. I don't have a Minecraft account. Favorite song from Trench. It's either gonna be Pet Cheetah or Chlorine. Or Nico and the Niners or just all of them. Can you do the splits? Let's find out. <laughs> Sky Bear wants to know, were you ever jealous of your sister? Oh my goodness, yes, absolutely yes. Throughout middle school and high school, I was jealous of both of my older sisters because they're extremely gorgeous. They were pretty popular in school and I always felt like the lame younger sister. And I don't feel that way anymore. This was of course in middle school and high school when I was a lot more insecure and that wasn't their fault at all. It was just how I felt about myself. I wasn't the most confident person. I mean, to be fair, fair, I was pretty lame and still am lame. I've just learned to embrace it in a positive light. I think that some of the main jealousy issues came from the fact that both of my sisters got homecoming queen and I never did, which is such a stupid thing. But you know, when you're in high school, those things seem to matter a lot. And also for all of the formals and banquets, they would always get asked by someone to go with them. They were just in general a lot more light than I was. I'm not saying I was hated in school. I just wasn't popular. There was a little bit of jealousy, but luckily now I'm in a better place. I've grown up a lot and that jealousy isn't there anymore, which makes my relationships with my sisters so much better. So yeah, that's the tea. And I think it's completely normal to be jealous of your sisters, especially at that age, but you have to realize it's something that you need to work through and that it's not a good thing. Have you ever had braces? I got them yesterday. Yes, I had braces for almost four years. Six figures I was only four. I absolutely hated them. I have a very low pain tolerance, so my mouth always hurt and I was always suffering. But I will tell you that they are so worth it. I'm so glad I had them, but I also had to have them because of some further issues in my mouth. I had impacted canines, which if you don't know what that is, it's basically just my, um, my canine teeth were in the roof of my mouth. So they had to pull them down into place and then get everything straightened out and it wasn't a fun time but my teeth are straight now and I have my adult canines so it's all peachy in the end I guess. So this next question is, do you have a boyfriend? Every single Q&A that I do, this is the most freq frequent, I can't speak. This is the most frequently asked question. To answer it, no, I don't currently have a boyfriend. And I also get a lot of questions just around the topic of relationships and dating and first kiss. Am I a virgin? How many guys have I dated? My sexuality? People seem to be very interested in that which I mean rightfully so, it's an interesting topic. And I definitely could dive into that a lot more. So if you guys would like to see a video of me talking about all of those things regarding dating and all of the love things, give this video a thumbs up. If we can get it to 50,000 likes, I'll make that video addressing all of your questions and concerns.
Moving along. What's your favorite outfit? Probably this one. I love my ripped black skinny jeans and you guys know that because I wear it in almost every single one of my Instagram posts. They are basically attached to my legs. I never take them off. They are my favorite pants and then also I pair it with just any comfy top. I don't know, it doesn't matter. I just love the pants so much. That's all you need to know. Do you have a crush? Maybe. Who's your fave actor? This one. How many colors have you dyed your hair? Holy smokes, this is gonna require some thought. Okay, let's count. First, I put some red in my hair. Then I did pink. Then I dyed my entire head auburn. Then I bleached the crap out of it so it was bleached blonde, which my natural color is blonde, but bleach is gonna give you a lighter blonde. Then I dyed it purple. Then I tried to dye it purple again, but it turned out kind of blue and then I dyed it purple back again so we're still at six colors and then I dyed it this color of blue which is different than the first time it turned out so I guess you could say a total of seven colors which is why all my hair is gonna fall out by the time I'm 30. How long did it take you to learn your instrument? I'm gonna start this off with a little disclaimer it takes every person a different amount of time to learn an instrument some people learn faster than others which is completely okay it also varies depending on what instrument you're you're trying to learn and how often you're practicing. For me, I would probably say it took about three months before I felt comfortable with the beginner stuff and could actually play some songs and not have it sound like complete garbage. So that's kind of a question. It just depends on the person and what and how you're practicing. Juliana wants to know why the blue hair. To be completely straight up with you, I just love having colored hair. I didn't think I would like the blue as much as the purple, but it may be my favorite color that I've had now so far. I just like trying different colors and if I could change my hair color every single day, I would if it didn't take up time or money or effort. I guess to answer that question, it's just because I like it. I like the color blue. I think colored hair is very fun. How many brothers and sisters do you have? I have three brothers and two sisters, so we're a pretty big family, which not a lot of you guys know because you typically only see Eden in my videos, but I do have a lot of other siblings. How popular were you back in school? Just curious. I kind of touched on this earlier. I wasn't the most popular. I wouldn't go as far to say that I was in outcast or hated. I just didn't get invited a lot of places. I wasn't people's first choice to hang out. I did have some friends and I'm not wanting people to pity me, but if I'm gonna be very transparent with y'all, middle school and high school were very hard for me in terms of socially and all the drama and making friends and just all the drama. It wasn't a good time for me and I definitely enjoy my life after high school so much more, which means if you're in high school and you're having an awful time, I'm really sorry, but there is hope. High school absolutely sucked for me. It does get better. Ever thought about being a furry? That's none of your business. Show us your big toe. I would show you, but I'm charging for feet pictures now. If you wanna go donate to my PayPal link, it's in the description. Just send a little donation and you probably won't get feet pictures, but you'll help support my channel. What dye did you use for your hair? I might use it. Okay, so I have used both Arctic Fox and Ion. I love both of those brands and all the colors that I've tried from them. They always turn out super pretty. If you wanna check out the dye that I currently have in my hair, I will put that link in the description so you can go maybe get it yourself if you want this color. Do you like pineapples on your pizza? No. I think it's disgusting, but I understand that everyone has different tastes, so if you like pineapples on your pizza, I'm not here to judge you, but also it's kind of really disgusting. Which emoji do you usually use? I use this one all the time. How do you lack living in a big family? People probably expect me to say that I don't like it, but I actually love it so much. And I can't imagine being an only child or even having just one sibling. I feel like with a huge family, there's always someone to talk to. There's just always something fun going on. Favorite worship song? I'm gonna have to say Oceans by Hillsong. I know it's super overplayed, but I think it's just really beautiful and I like it a lot. Do you lack 
like bananas. Yes. Is it hard being a fantastic YouTuber? I will have to call Jojo Siwa and ask her. I will get back to you within three business days. If you were a smell, what would you be? I would like to say that I would be the smell when you bake cookies, you know, that freshly baked cookie smell that is just so wonderful. But in reality, if I manifested into a smell, it would probably be peppermint, which is okay, because I like peppermint too. Should I take a nap? always. Who's the most famous person you've ever met? Garth Brooks, which is quite ironic because the time that I met him, I didn't know who he was. I didn't know that he was famous, which that's kind of really sad, but you know, it be like that sometimes. I also met Jason Dolly from Good Luck Charlie and Cory in the House. He was pretty cool. My 12 year old heart was really happy about that one. What's your opinion of the world right now? It's really easy to say that the world is a mess at the moment. Yes, there are a lot of bad things going on, but also I truly believe that you can always find something positive and something to be thankful for, and it's better to be thankful and count your blessings. Even though that can be really hard to do sometimes because typically we just want to resort to complaining, which I'm guilty of that too. What's your favorite meme? This one, how do you not be trash? In order for me to answer that question, I would literally have to change my form. So once I figure out how to not be trash, which is never gonna happen, then I'll let you know. What's your favorite song right now? Ocean Man. Out of all your ukes, which is your fave? Definitely my signature uke. If you want to go check it out, I will put that link in the description. And I'm not just saying that because I'm biased and I'm the one who created it. I truly love the sound and the look of it, but also a close second is my mango ukulele and I'll show you why. In terms of sound, my signature uke is my favorite, but in terms of looks, I really love this one because the wood is so unique. And then also those inlays are gorgeous. So those are the top two. My signature and then my mango ukulele are my absolute faves. Would you get a tattoo in 2019? Absolutely yes. I'm not quite sure what I want to get yet, but I do have some ideas. But needles are kind of scary for me and I don't know how I feel about that, but also I think I would go through the pain for a piece of art on my body. We'll just have to see what happens. I don't know. What is your favorite ukulele song you can play? Without a doubt, it is the Me Channel theme. That Wii music is a high key bop. Hogwarts house. I thought it was Hufflepuff, but apparently I'm Gryffindor. I don't really know because I didn't actually take the real legit quiz. Oops. How is your dog doing? I have two dogs and they're both doing fantastic. Here we go. This is what y'all have been waiting for. Some quality cinnamon content. Look how cute. And then here is my other dog as well, Sugar. She's doing fantastic too. Oh, you just yawned my heart. Do you still buy 40 oranges? every week. Yes, yesterday after church, I had to run to Walmart and pick 40 oranges, pick them with my own two hands. Of course, I had some help from my brother, but we picked those 40 oranges and brought them home to my parents. If you don't know what I'm talking about, there is a great video that explains my parents' addiction to oranges. So to answer your question, yes, absolutely. All right, guys, that is all the questions that I have time for today. If you sent in a question, thank you so much. And if I didn't get to yours, I'm really sorry, but I'm planning to do more of these in the future if you guys want me to. I hope that this video was spicy enough for you. If you thought it was entertaining, you can always hit that thumbs up button to let me know. That would be super appreciated. Thank you so much for being here. I hope that you have a fantastic day. I love y'all. Bye.